Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habitu fillah A question was asked, Jazakallah khairan for the beneficial advice I'm the brother who's going to Egypt, inshallah I plan to stay there for one year and four months I currently focus on learning basic aqeed and tawheed And I'm doing your class on Nawaq al Islam Which is very beneficial, barakallah fiq Wa fiq and barakallah I tried to memorize matun, meaning text, by each level by Sheikh Qahtani. What advice would you give me to get the most out of my one year and four months? Also, I will ask another question. Uh, first and foremost, as some of our ulama advise, some of the best advice that I can offer, bi'idnillah, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless it, uh, to be beneficial is that to benefit the most from your time is to do exactly that that when you go to study that you focus your time balance your time with your study since you know you have a limited amount of time it's imperative that you follow the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and you avoid kathra taqil waqal. So this is one of the first things that I would advise as Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah yarhamu, advised us that don't get into debates and arguments with anyone. With Hizbis, with Sufis, with Takfiris, with whoever. Use your time to benefit yourself, to give yourself the tools to elevate you in learning your deen so you can better practice your deen, you can come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you are not married, so that you can later help and assist to raise your family and perhaps your community. So avoid kathra taqil waqal. So that means no arguing and debating and no involving yourself in rumors, hearsay, there's no benefit. Even the discord discord that you might find between ulama. Don't, don't spend your time on that. That's not going to benefit you in this life nor the hereafter. So don't even involve yourself in that. And avoid rumor mongering. So that means involving yourself in any of that, in any sinful speech and slandering and backbiting and carrying tales, namima. As the Prophet ﷺ said, Mara Nabi uh, The Prophet ﷺ was walking by some graves. He passed by two graves. And he said, Verily they're being punished and they're being punished for something which the people don't see as great. As for one of them, they used to not clean themselves properly uh, when they went to the restroom at Kromokumullah. Uh, as for the other one, is they used to spread tales throughout the community in order to spread wickedness. And that is uh, the Namima. So avoid that. Another important thing to avoid, which is going to help you the rest of your life and, and all your talab al-ilm, and what's more important than that, than your talab al-ilm, is your deen in general, and that is avoiding sin. That is some of the most powerful advice. And I recall Mustafa George said to me once about uh, a brother from my city, a da'i, Abdubari Yahya. And that he told him when he first came to Jemma Slimiya that he met Abdu Bari. Because when I said I was from Seattle and stuff, he said, yeah, you know Abdu Bari. So yeah, he said he, this is one of the most beneficial things that he told me and my seeking knowledge. So we can't emphasize the importance of that. Because we know so many people who are students of knowledge who gained immense benefit. But they limited their benefit because of sin. And some people who didn't gain hardly any benefit... Or they destroyed themselves because of sin. So sin only makes you forget. And sin only makes you, dishonors you. And sin destroys your talab al-ilm. It destroys your sincere and real talab al-ilm. So I can't overemphasize the importance 
of being straight and on istiqamah, that you are now taking one of the highest paths. You're going to Talib al-Ilm. Everything in creation makes dua for you. And we make dua for you, that Allah makes you successful and gain, bless you with ilm al-nafi, ruskin tayyibu amal al-mutaqabilan. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. And so, very important to be sincere, avoid sin, avoid the backbiting and, and so forth, and kathra taqil wa qal, which falls under the sin as well. And try to memorize as much Quran as possible, as Imam Muqbil mentioned, Rahmatullahi Rahmatin Wasiya. And learn what you can from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And a last point that I want to make, in addition to that, is don't let anybody cut you off from the good in your studies. For example, if you're going to an institute, don't just run and switch. You heard another one is better, this and that. Maybe if it is better. But whatever you do, you want to be consistent in your study. You have a limited time. You have a year and four months, which is not a lot of time in the, in the sense. You can benefit a lot in a year and four months if you immerse yourself. So immerse yourself. Don't spend time with others, you know, that are, are going to not bring you benefit. The Prophet ﷺ said, Strive in those things which will benefit you. So do everything possible to benefit from your time and be serious because it's a limited time that you have. And it's a beautiful life just to be a, a talib like that. And But you will have distractions. So you're going to have to learn how to use your time, avoid the distractions, avoid the sinfulness, avoid the foolishness. And immerse yourself in khair. And also try to reserve some time to visit Ahl khair. To go and visit some of the ulama. Even if it's an afternoon. Even if it's one hour. You're going to be on a busy schedule. But you can make 30 minutes to visit someone. Even a, a student of knowledge. But in Egypt, place like that, you have ulama. So visit the ulama, whoever you can, from Ahl Sunnah, of course, uh, to gain benefit and just to strengthen your iman. And if you're around other students, make sure that there are other students that are bringing benefit. They're benefiting, they're serious about their study, and you can challenge one another, and you can feed off the energy of one another, and you can benefit from one another and question and quiz one another and go forward with one another. But don't be around people who are negative and people who spread wickedness and people who are going to waste your time and people who are going to busy you with that which does not benefit you. And those are about the best things that I can uh, think of. Uh, you know, you'll find you're, you'll ha you're obviously going to a program that's already in place. So we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us and you with success. In all that we do, and may Allah bless us and you with ilm and nafiyah, rizq and tayyib, and amal mutakabbilin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from kulli shar. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you to be a source of good and a caller to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember this statement also, that Imam Muqbil, rahmatullahi he said, because I assume that you want to share this knowledge, always remember this, take this to your grave. He said, Da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah, Da'wah to Min Kitabi La Ila Kitabi La. Women Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam Ila Ila Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Sallam. That the Da'wah of Ahlul Sunnah, it is the Da'wah to the Book of Allah, from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah, calling to Allah. وَمِنْ سُنَّةِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم From the sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى عليه وسلم to the sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى عليه وسلم If you suffice yourself with that and understand the depth of that statement, reflect, ponder, practice, you'll be on nothing but khair, bi'idhnillah. وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَ مُحَمَّدٍ